How's it going, people? Yeah, I just got back from a Sacramento Music Festival. Second day I've gone. Crowded as hell. And the religiotards are out in force, passing out paper. I got another invite to see a movie, with a Dianetics movie. I thought they were going to give me the IQ point uh, promise. I want to... They told me that they that you get IQ points, and somebody told me that they were passing out flyers that promised IQ points if you joined Scientology. But I haven't got that flyer yet because I'd like to call them on it. Oh, but I did ask the guy about it. I said, hey, do you got any of those flyers about IQ points? And the guy goes, oh, um, well, we're just passing this out today. And so I asked the guy. I go, hey. How long have you been with the uh, with the church? And he said, six years. And I said, are you a genius? You don't want to talk to me anymore after that. He got mad. <laughs> so I guess it. I guess he is. Anyway, and they were passing out all kinds of tracks. Many of them were on the ground, and I picked them up because I hate litter. Uh, but I did walk by and had a couple interesting ones passed to me. Oop, there we go. Things I'd never known. A poem for you. I might read that. Here's a militant tract. Final orders, soldier! It's a Christian military militant tract. They're in the Lord's army. Remember that song? God's simple plan of salvation. Human sacrifice. <laughs> and cannibalism. And <laughs> Are you a Christian? Absolutely not, but I'll read it anyway. Where will you spend eternity? These are on the ground. Uh, wait, where's the other one? Huh, there was another one somewhere. Oh, well. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh. Pardon. So you get pardoned. Just say, hey, this other guy got his ass kicked and he got nailed up. But I think that's good enough for me. This is the one I thought I'd look at. And they got, let's see. Yeah, Buddhism on top. It belongs there, I guess. Mormonism, Islam, humanism, Hinduism, Jehovah's Witnesses. Humanism, that's a gospel? I'm a humanist. I mean, more or less. I mean, I believe in doing nice things for people. Because I'd like to see some of that come back my way. I'd like the world to be a little less shitty. You know? Mm. Ah. Alright, let's look at this one. Have you believed another gospel? One of these, perhaps? Ah. The Bible teaches that the gospel is Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection for our sins. <sighs> and that makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? If you hadn't been indoctrinated as a child, you would be saying, wait, let me wrap, let me wrap my brain around this. Uh, no, doesn't make any sense. But, you know, immortality. You know, what the hell? You get a chance at immortality. According to God's word, placing your complete trust in Christ's atoning death is the only way to heaven. Wow. That's pretty sadistic. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's from John 14, 6. 
although this message is clearly presented in the Bible. <laughs> there are many people who teach other ways to God. Have you believed in other gospel? You haven't been cheating, have you? Got to stay faithful to the faith. The word gospel means good news or glad tidings. The Apostle Paul declared in 1 Corinthians 15, 1, 3 through 3 and 4. Moreover, brothers, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Trusting in Jesus Christ for your salvation is the gospel the Bible teaches. Have you believed another gospel? Another gospel deceives your mind. 2 Corinthians 4, 4 states, In whom the God of which, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. We can't have that now, can we? Uh, not with all those heavenly brown nosers doing such a good job. Yeah. Many people are blinded by vain teachings. Uh, see Mormonisms here and Islam. Whoa. Are they saying they're not true? Just saying. Uh, Ephesians 5 6 states Let no man deceive you with vain words. I see you can use that phrase in quite a few circumstances if you wanted, if you just put that out by itself. The word vain means having no real value, worthless, empty. The only message of real value is that salvation comes by faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Have you believed another gospel? Another gospel damns your soul. Peter asks in 1 Peter 4.17b. Oh, that's because they cut it in half. <laughs> this is only half of the verse. There's dot, 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 dot. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Isn't that the same gospel, uh, I mean, the same epistle that says that unbelievers should be hunted down and killed? I believe that was Peter also. I think it was First Peter. I don't remember the exact verse. I could look it up. But, uh, yeah, they should be hunted and killed like animals. God gives the answer in 2 Thessalonians. He just, you just have to jump all around, that's all. Then you'll get the message. Don't read it straight through. You're not qualified. Just got to jump around. I mean, the Quran at least is already written that way. It jumps all around the place, you know, so. They took the work out away from you. You just read it straight through and it's like jumping around. <laughs>
but they say that, that the Quran isn't true here, I guess. Let's see. It's another gospel. All right. The answer in Second Thessalonians 1, 8, 9. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? If you think your good deeds, church background, or o obedience to a set of religious rules will help you escape this punishment, you are not obeying the gospel of Jesus Christ. Have you believed another gospel? Hmm? Another gospel denies God's words. Or God's word, excuse me. Just one. Uh, Paul states in Galatians 1, 7 and 8, and in 11 also, if you want to skip around some more, leaving things out, there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, the one he gave you. But through, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, that is, than that which we have preached unto you, that's Paul and his authorized representatives, <sighs> Let him be accursed, that other gospel guy. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. That's the real deal. <sighs> How do you know? You just have to believe it. And then you'll really believe it. Yeah, that's how it works. The Bible cle clearly teaches that a person must believe the gospel to go to heaven. <laughs> to teach any other way of salvation is to deny God's word. <laughs> Have you believed in other gospel? The gospel of Jesus Christ gives assurance of eternal life. Paul Stated in Romans 1.16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Friend, God does not want you to go to hell when you die. In fact, the greatest gift ever given was the gospel because it shows God's love for you. Yeah, and if you don't get it, he'll just have you tortured for eternity. It's because he loves you. <laughs> All right. He loved his son, too. Die! All right, come back. <laughs> that hurt, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. The gospel reveals that even though you are a sinner and deserve an eternal punishment in hell, you were born that way with original sin fucking you all up. You were born damned. You need this, but the right one. <laughs> and how do you know which one's the right one? Have faith. But if you have faith in the wrong thing, then you're, you did it wrong somehow. And it doesn't count, and you're going to hell. <sighs> All right. You can be forgiven. If you will believe God's word and place your complete trust in Christ's atoning death, his 
at human sacrifice. God promises in Romans 10, 9 through 11 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you do believe this shit, it's because you've got an ulterior motive. <laughs> for with the heart of man, be, be, wait, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesseth Confession is made unto salvation. Will you agree with God that you need to be saved and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Now remember, you do have a choice. This or burning, searing agony forever. But he loves you. And he made the devil and put him in the Garden of Eden. And then punish two innocents for do, making a mistake. <sighs> yeah. And receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. If you will, pray something like this. Oh, they're going to give us a sample prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I know I am a sinner and need your forgiveness for being born with original sin. Sorry about that. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. That's singular. I am willing to turn from sin. I now ask Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal Savior. I thought that was the Holy Ghost that goes into your heart. Or maybe he goes into your soul, and then the other goes into your heart. Yeah, it just makes so much sense. I am willing, by God's grace, to follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my heart and life. Amen. And you'll do whatever his earthly representatives tell you, no doubt. All right, that's the Fellowship Tractor League of Lebanon, Ohio, and I'll put some information below where you can get in touch with these fine folks. Let's see. Is this? Oh, the Jesus people. Things I'd never known. It's, yeah, it looks like Pepto-Bismol. All right, a poem for you. I haven't read this yet. <laughs> Things I'd never known. I think you need more room. <sighs> I've never known a religion to be pure and undefiled. Me neither. <laughs> or a philosophy to follow for more than just a, a while. Well, you grow up and you change your ideas as you mature and learn new stuff. Sorry, I'm fucking up their meter here, aren't I? Um, I've never known a drug that can change the heart of man... Yeah, but only temporarily. You can definitely change your attitude for a while. You know. And I've never known a cause for which I could stand. Hey. I've never known a friend to be totally forgiving. Well, what do you need to be forgiven for? I mean, exactly. What'd you do? <laughs> I mean, it depends, you know. How about giving him, not giving him a reason to even need to forgive you? How's that? I mean, everybody fucks up a little bit. It's not a friend if they don't let you slide for just being human. All right. And I've never known. A hope to make life seem much worth living. So he doesn't know a friend to be totally forgiving. 
And yet that's probably not a friend at all then, and he's probably hanging around the wrong people. Probably hanging around too many Christians. You want to be forgiven. Meet some real people. They tend to be more forgiving <laughs> and less judging. I've never known a love unconditionally bestowed. If you're talking about this uh, Bible stuff here, it's conditional. <sighs> and I've never known a map to show a never-ending road. It's paved in gold, no doubt. I've never known a sunset to be totally fulfilling. Oh, now you're down on the sunsets? They're not good enough for you? <laughs> and I've never known a man to be always kind and willing. Nobody's always anything. People are complicated and they got moods and stuff, you know? And circumstances is happening behind the scenes that you might not know about. But how about most of the time kind and willing? I've never known a promise I believe could not be broken. And I've never known a word of wisdom confidently spoken? Yeah, they can speak with assurance about bullshit, but it's still bullshit. People pronounce things, and they're like, he speaks with authority, it must be true. Or not. All right. I've never known a power that could make a person whole. And I've never known a comfort that could calm a restless soul. I should share some of my grandmother's Christian poetry with you guys. She actually gave me her permission. Uh, she writes better poetry than this. It's all Jesus-y, but it's great stuff. I've never known a freedom beyond a mere sensation. Freedom, huh? Or someone I could trust without a moment's hesitation? Join the cult. They'll take away all your hesitation and give you blind obedience. Yeah, join the group. I've never known a happiness I felt would always last. And I've never known a future not to slip into the past. Never known a reason for why I came to be. Your parents were fucking. I hate to break it to you. Or, I mean, the contributors of the DNA were fucking. Or there was some test tube activity going on or something. Yeah. And I've never known an answer to the questions haunting me. So... Just, how about this? Wrong one. <laughs> they all have promised to have the answers that are to the questions haunting you, you poor dear. But then I looked at Jesus, and he proved that he alone is sufficient in himself to be the things I'd never known. And that was by Dennis McIntosh. He wrote that in 1974 to Seed Publications. And here's a quote from Tom Adcock. Christianity is not a religion. It is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, your imaginary friend. Nothing more, nothing less. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him 
which is the head of all principality and power. And that's um, uh, Colossians, Colossians. It's seal well. Uh, 2, 8 through 10. He is, wait, he was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. That's John 1, 10. Do you know Jesus Christ? You can. And that's the Jesus people. And I'll put that below. And there's a couple I knocked off. This is going long, so. so. Man, these guys really want me to watch their movie. What do you think, folks? I don't really want to. I'm not sure I really want to deal with these people any more than I'm dealing with them already. But I don't know. It might be interesting. Let me know what you think, and let me know if you learned something. I might have just made some new Christians, you know. If so, I didn't mean to. Uh, peace the fuck out. Let me know if you learned something, and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.